And then moving up to your belly, if there's anything in your belly, anything in your hips, anything at your sacrum or root, any burdens that you're carrying there, you could let them go. You could give them to the tree of life, this tree before you. So offering them to the tree and breathing out, thank you. And breathing in, receiving all of that life and breathing it into your belly and down into your hips and your thighs, your knees, all the way down into your calves and your feet. And then to your solar plexus. If there's anything that is in the way of you being in your power, anyone or anything, just offer them to the tree. The tree can handle it. Just letting it go, breathing out, thank you. And breathing in life. Sweet, pure, beautiful life into your soul plexus. Power that is flexible and loving and true. Power that is flexible and loving and true. Breathing out gratitude and then going to the heart. Going to the heart and the shoulders. And if there are any burdens that you carry in your heart, you can give them to the tree. And this tree has been around for much, much longer than we have. And it knows how to take care of this. So breathing out thank you and offering any burdens or anything that gets in the way of you giving and receiving love. Giving that to the tree. And breathing in life. Breathing in pure, sweet, true life into your heart. And knowing that every tree has a heart word. Every tree has a heart that runs the entire length of its body. Down into the earth and up to the sky. Connecting with that heart wood and breathe out, thank you. And then noticing the leaves on your tree are beginning to turn that glorious yellow and gold and orange. And then going up to your mind. If there's anything or anyone there, if there are burdens that you are carrying yesterday, tomorrow, people that are there that are not you, you can give them to the tree and the tree will receive them. So releasing them, releasing those thoughts. If there's any attitudes that are not authentic for you, you can give those to the truth. And you can ask for the ability to receive the attitude of a tree. And breathing in the mindfulness, the presence, the beauty, the complexity, the simplicity of the tree.
And moving up, thank you. And then above your head, just a little bit above your head, if there's anything there that is blocking or burdens that you carry that does not allow you to be in contact with spirit, or does not allow you to be in contact with your divinity, or does not allow you to be in contact with the beauty of who you are, the miracle of your presence on earth, you can give that to the truth. Releasing all of that there. And breathing in, noticing that you are in a sacred place in nature. And the sacred place is directly between your eyes, about a half an inch back. And this is a very sacred place. And simply notice what is there, what is growing there. What kind of plants, if any? What elements are present? Are there any animals that are there? If they are there, they are there for your safety. They are sacred. They're protectors. They're helpers for you. Just like our animals that we have with us now and are not. So this is a sacred place. And it's a place where you can find wisdom at any time. Noticing this place and then calling for the sunlight, the beautiful sunlight that the tree needs. Calling that through the top of your head and allowing it to filter through this beautiful sacred place that is yours and yours alone in nature. And allowing that beautiful sunlight to move down and course through your body and through your arms. And noticing that anything that you carry that is not yours is melting away. And noticing the brilliance, the radiance of that sunlight moving down through your hearts, warming you. down through your belly, your solar plexus, down through your hips and your, your thighs, your knees, down through your feet, and all through your hands, and light is pouring out of you. And noticing that there is a root from your own body going deep into the earth. There's a root from your own body going deep into the earth, and you belong to her. And then we see the leaves complete their turning, and they fall from the tree. And all of our burdens are released. And then we see the leaves turn into compost. They become skeletons, and then they become earth. And food for the tree, they are transmuted into what is good and true and lasting. Only to feed with this beautiful. only to feed what is good. And 
And with the seeds of the sunlight, moving back up through the root and up through our feet and our, our calves, our knees, moving forward, moving up through our hips, flexibility, empowerment, moving up through our solar plexus, heart, the ability to give and to receive love, and our throat, the ability to speak what is true with kindness, clarity, thoughtfulness. Up through a jaw, through a mind, a beautiful sacred place, a place where we have a sacred place for ourselves to know ourselves and to listen to our wisdom, our internal wisdom. And then the branches coming up and giving off life. Breathing out, thank the tree in return. times a day as you like. <laughs> and it is a, a process that the trees gifted me. And I'm grateful to them. So thank you, Tree Nation Standing Ones, for doing that. I appreciate it very much. And they've given it to you. So I thank them. So make any notes that you would like to make about your experience. And what was your room like? What was your what was your uh, grove like that you were in? Your space it is in the container of your mind. It is nature. What was it like there? What was it like there? So every uh, culture and every continent in the world has a drum. So it's something that really pulls us all, calls to us all, rhythm, syncopation. Uh, but it's known as the heartbeat. And this is um, this is Angelo's drum. And will you tell us about this drum, Angelo? This is a horse drum, and uh, her name is Rose. Oh, how beautiful! I co-created this drum about. Six years ago. Yeah, it's wonderful. Beautiful, right? And so, uh, in the in the um, Celtic traditions, they have something called a bowran. Bowran. Is that I say it right? Bowran. 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 I'm learning. I'm learning how to say bowran. <laughs> and I love the sound of the bowran. Um, and it's played with a double, a double. Beater. So it has a beater on each end, and it's just beautiful. And Nihal plays it for us uh, oftentimes in our classes. Uh, what he has, I enjoyed that. And then there's also the hand drum, uh, which you'll see. I've seen hand drums, uh, Siberian hand drums, uh, Northwest Coast hand drums, Northwest Coastal people. Uh, also in Israel, there's hand drums. Uh, and in India, I've also seen hand drums uh, from India. Uh, I really love the warrior drum from China, which is a red drum, which is incredible. It's the most beautiful drum. Uh, the warrior drum is what it's called. And of course, in Africa, there's the djembe. And, and uh, my mom played, uh, my mom Matilda played on a drum, a powwow drum for a long time, 
uh, for dancing, and that was, uh, it's a very large drum, it's a two-headed drum, uh, and it's, uh, that drum's name was Shiobaha, and uh, she was on the power trail for a long time, my little brother was doing traditional dancing. Uh, and so there are many different drums, and so, and I love to talk about them all because I carry so many lineages within me, and I like to honor all of the lineages and all these continents that are within me and within all of us. Uh, and so, uh, simply recognizing that it is the heartbeat, that it is the heartbeat, and oh my god, and in Japan, the taiko drums, has anyone ever heard a taiko drum? Oh my god, they are the most, it is the best sound, and then, oh my god, really. So if you ever get a chance to hear the taiko drumming uh, during the uh, festivals they have in, in Chinatown, sometimes the taiko drummers will be there. And, oh my, hey, well, yeah, it's really, really powerful. And the drum is like bigger than the person, mm -hmm. and they have these heat, I mean, it's just, and it's so powerful, it's such a sacred uh, act, and an honor to be in the presence of God. And so when we have the rhythm of the heart, we can experience healing, and we can experience healing in our heart. Uh, what we also know is that it literally changes the brain waves. There's uh, research where everybody got hooked up to the little probes, and uh, they found out, like, oh my goodness, this really takes people into a different state of consciousness. Isn't this interesting? So I love how things get proven, you know, and I love science. I adore science. And I adore spirit. And my favorite is when they come together to help one another. My favorite is when they come together to serve one another. And so uh, that's, that's my favorite. We return thanks to our mother, the earth, which sustains us. We return thanks to the rivers and streams which supply us with water. We return thanks to all the herbs which furnish medicines for the cure of our diseases. We return thanks to the corn and to her sisters, the beans and squash which give us life. We return thanks to the bushes and the trees which provide us with fruit. We return thanks to the wind which moving the air has banished diseases. We return thanks to the moon and stars which has given us their light when the sun is gone. We return thanks to our grandfather that he has protected his grandchildren from witches and reptiles and has given us rain. We return thanks to the sun. He has looked upon the earth with a beneficent eye. And at last, we return thanks to the Great Spirit in whom is embodied all goodness and who directs all things for the good of his children. This is an Iroquois Thanksgiving blessing that they want us to have shared. So please continue to share it. And thank you, Creator. We give thanks to you for the seeds that are within these peaches. And what we know is we know that we have one peach, but we don't know how many seeds are in a peach tree. And all of the future peaches that can come from this planted seed. And may the seeds within our hearts, may we plant those also and fulfill our destinies. And may we never, never, never give up. Thank you so much. Amen. 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 Amen.